What's up fellow Worthlings? Welcome back to the channel Austin Hustler Hires with Epic Hustle Ethics. It's been over a month since we opened our rage room now and in this episode I'm going to show you how we made over $1,000 and we kept this rage room running smoothly all day long on a Saturday. We had over 35 people come in on this day and rage out so I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll talk to you soon. What's up guys, we're here at the Rage Room and I told you I would make a video about this. This is our busiest day so far. We've had over 15 people in the Rage Room already today and it is currently 4.17 right now. I don't know if you can hear that, but there is a five rager going on, five people raging out right now. And we already had 15 people come in. So already 20 people come in today. We've reset the room probably five or six times. I've lost count now. And I'm super excited because we're actually starting to pick up business and make some good money here. We literally just got another online booking. We've had three people, three groups rather, three groups of people walk in today and just book as they walked in. And then we had another five groups of people that were booked online. So that's really cool and I'm super excited. Uh, I'll update you later on today. I just been really, really hustling today to clean the rooms out before the next person comes in and uh, wash the, uh, basically we have six suits and then we have 25 disposable suits. So I've been using those when I'm washing the uh, washable suits in the washer. So we're able to get the people in and out, uh, sanitizing the helmets, washing the gloves, making sure everything is on the up and up and getting everything cleaned out um, completely and throwing in the dumpster be before the next Raiders come in. It's proving to be uh, a great system that I have developed here. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Hit that like button if you like this video and if you wanna find out about inf more information. I'm gonna get quiet, I'm gonna stop recording because she's actually calling our online booking for 8.30 tonight. I'll talk to you guys soon. This is the uh, birthday party banner and the kid's name that's coming in to do the birthday party today. So really cool, really excited about that guys. Um, I like this chalk wall, we're able to use it for special um, occasions like this. My wife is currently changing the time for the days and the, time, and the date and times that we're open. I'll explain that to you in one second. Okay, okay, okay. Our five rager, which is our rhino rage, our first rhino rage guys, is done. The people left, all five people said they're gonna leave us a five star review and I sent them out of here with a free uh, set of 15 pound dumbbells. Uh, one of the gentlemen was asking how much. I just said, you know what, take them. You guys leave us five star reviews. Every single one of you, you can have the dumbbells. So I just, I just sanitized the helmets. I leave them upside down to let the sanitize the sanitizer uh, dry up and then I go in and I wipe the uh, lenses off to make them clear again and we've already swept everything up into a pile there and I threw a lot of the large stuff in the trash can before I started recording but there's still some large stuff there that was a really really tough desk that was one of those um, office desks with the metal filing cabinets in it and a large thick piece of wood attached to the top that guy really destroyed that thing so me and my son are gonna go ahead and get to cleaning this whole place up we are throwing out of, uh, out of this big roll-up door into our dumpster to make it super easy. And uh, yeah, we're getting ready for our next Ragers. The next people that are coming in, uh, it's a birthday party for a nine-year-old and it's gonna be nine, 10, 11, and 12-year-olds coming in to rage out. I believe it's gonna be six of them and there has to be a parent in here. I told them a parent at all times in the Rage Room with them. So we're gonna go ahead and get that set up. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys See all these colorful bottles? My daughter and my son have been painting those bottles for the last two or three days to get ready for this birthday party. We wanted to make it kind of special for this kid. So uh, we actually drew a happy birthday thing on the front chalk wall. I'm gonna get a hyperlapse of us getting this cleaned up and set up. Guys, buckle up, cause it's gonna be a nice, fast ride. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, so um, I, don't, I don't know if this is gonna be a walk-in rager that's out front, guys. It might be the actual kids starting to show up for the birthday party. 
So we're about to find out. I'll tell you about that, or I'll let you know in a second once I know. I wanted to explain to you why we're changing our times. This is probably the fifth time that we're changing our times and days that we're open. Uh, we're still open seven days a week right now because it turns out that people are showing up every day. Uh, but we had some problems with our neighbors right here on the other side of the wall. They work Monday through Friday, and we were open from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Friday, or Monday through Saturday, rather. Um, we had some, some ragers in here the other day at 2 o'clock, and they were actually complaining about the noise that they were hearing. And, uh, you know, the owner of the complex told us, hey, you know, these people, they don't want you raging till 5 o'clock. And so we signed a contract with it saying, you know, we can't rage at five, until five o'clock. But um, seeing how people wanted to rage earlier, we asked them, hey, you know, do you mind if we try out a couple of, you know, rages and just see what happens? The people next door, they seemed, they seemed nice at first. Um, I don't really think you can hear too much noise next door, maybe a few bumps and you know, glass breaking. It's not really that loud inside of our own building. So I can't imagine between a brick wall, several sheets of plywood and, um, and drywall that they can really hear a lot. Anyway, they called that day, they complained to the owner of the plaza and he called us and said, hey, hey, you guys can't rage until five o'clock because they're calling and complaining. So we have to stick to that agreement that's on the contract. And uh, he just let us know, hey, you know, he can't can't do it. We already had several people book for two o'clock, so it kind of sucked. We had to call and reschedule those bookings. And one booking that we had today on Saturday was actually a booking we had yesterday on Friday at two o'clock. And he showed up at two o'clock, um, and it kind of sucked. I felt really bad because I was working in the junk removal field all day, and my wife wasn't able to make it down here. So he showed up. We were closed couldn't get a hold of us because our phone only rings here in the in the rage room office so I came in yesterday at five o'clock when we're supposed to open got the voicemail he was very upset and so what I did was I upgraded his package to a rhino rage which allows him to go up to six people instead of two people several more minutes and several more pieces of glass to break and so he took that offer he uh, you know he he still paid for the, the the dual rage but he got upgraded to a higher package and by the time he left here he was super super happy that was the last people um, that actually raged out that we're cleaning out right now so I felt really bad and I wanted to help them out a lot and uh, so they were super happy with the deal and the upgraded package and bringing more people in and having a lot of fun his wife is actually a teacher and she teaches special needs students and a lot of them have rage so she was really excited about this place because she's gonna tell a lot of the parents about our rage room that being said guys I'm gonna finish getting this set up for the birthday party because that's what it looks like it's gonna be I'll let you know here in just a minute we'll talk to you soon boom guys we got some bottles over there for them to throw bottles to smash this large looks like a bathroom uh, glass that they can smash we got a big printer some bottles we painted all these bottles just to make it look more fun and be more fun for them we got a computer some picture frames some more bottles some more glass and a tabletop over there to smash they can smash this plastic table if they want we got more bottles to throw because people like throwing bottles and uh, especially kids you know we got more bottles all these beer bottles are to throw and uh, then we set up bottles here we got bottles there we got like a little like I don't know hearing aid machine or something there and we got a DVD player there so these are kids I try to put things in here that kids could smash pretty easily um, you know I didn't want to put like dressers and stuff like that in here because that would be more difficult for a nine-year-old to smash so I do have this one small nightstand if they work together they may be able to smash that but we hooked them up with a bunch of extra bottles and I hope they have lots of fun in here I'm gonna go ahead and Make sure everything's set up up front, and I know that a lot of them showed up. I'll get some pictures of the whole party in here, maybe even ask them if I can come in here and film a little bit. We'll talk to you guys soon.
Alright, so those kids are doing a great job at breaking stuff, so I'm going to come in here, I'm going to grab another two boxes of bottles for them to break. I just like hooking them up, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what up guys? Let me show you something that I am I'm super proud of. I mean, this this was our busiest day, so I should have expected this, but this is the trailer that was full of stuff this morning. I mean, slap full of stuff to break. Dressers, TVs, microwaves, computers, monitors, bottles, everything you could possibly think of. And we literally just pulled out the last two pieces of furniture and put them in the rage room for the person coming in at 8 o'clock. They just called us, told us they're going to be 15 minutes away, uh, uh, late. So I came out here to record this real quick. That is a sign of growth. That's a sign of growth, guys. If you can remember, in the first couple of days, the first couple of weeks, the first two weeks, I was down. I was down. I was like, why? Why is there nobody in? Because... I just hate failure but obviously that's not failure because I just need to get the name out there and that's what we're doing we're getting the name out there and what we're doing is working so I'm just really really excited to see that trailer empty and see this dumpster completely full everything that was in that trailer is now in this dumpster completely flattened out and destroyed so I'm happy honestly if all this stuff wasn't flattened down and destroyed, it would not fit in this dumpster. And I would it would probably be a load and a half of this dumpster. Really, I, I'm just like, I'm, I'm blown away by today. So, so many good things happened. We also had the people that are running our video ads come in and take some video. So you'll be seeing some video ads on Facebook. If you're in the area and you're watching my YouTube videos, uh, just look out for my ads in, on Facebook. And, uh, you know, message, leave a comment down below if you've seen one of my ads and if you like them. They should start putting them up tomorrow, but we, we'll, we'll, we will see. Um, man, I'm slurring my words. I am pretty exhausted. I mean, me and Brandon went out this morning and did uh, we did some work on that job where we were tearing down the air ducts. And we're almost done with that job. We're gonna need one more full day next week. But next week is also when we start that really big job that I was telling you about in one of my shorts. Really big job, one of the biggest jobs we've ever had. And it's all gonna be scrap metal. So we'll be able to basically have zero dump fees. Um, give my boys some bonuses with the scrap metal and it's overall been a great 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 week next week's gonna be even better I believe and uh, I, I thank you all thank you all for sticking with me thank you for subscribing if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that notifications bell so you can get notified every time I put up a new video I appreciate all of you I love all of you I'm gonna go in here and make sure that we're all set up for this next rager to come in and, uh, and, and then I'll update you right after that and we'll go ahead and end the video. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. We'll talk to you soon. We got our eight o'clock ragers here guys. Eight o'clock ragers. I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of recording so you can see what goes on inside the rage room. We just hit start on the 30 minute timer. Here we go.
about it. Okay, so they know how to rage. They're only about five minutes into it and almost everything in there is crushed. So I'm gonna go grab them a couple more boxes up top. They wrecked everything within like five minutes. So I went in there and gave them two more tables with glass top and uh, this big old ceramic pot thing. So hopefully that'll last another five minutes at least. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. I really appreciate it. And if you made it all the way here, make sure you go down below and hit that like button for me. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and notifications bell so you can get notified every time I put up a new video. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.